two. The very first step, which is the law of agency. <clears throat> What's an agent? Agent, individual hired to act on behalf of the other, or act on behalf of another, following specific instructions. That's what you all are. <clears throat> to your... To your principal. Your principal is whom? Yeah, I know. You guys will learn this in your sales class. Your principal is your client. Or, how many people in the room are actually brokers? Broker of record. Okay. You're a principal. When you're an agent working for a broker, you actually have two principals, legally. You're an agent of your broker, and you're actually, by definition, then, a sub-agent of the seller. Does everybody understand that? Mm -hmm. Same thing if you're acting as a buyer's agent. Who's truly the agent? The broker is, correct? The broker is truly the agent, and you're just acting as a sub-agent. Agency is a relationship that's created, either written orally, for your fiduciary responsibilities, and fiduciary responsibility is how the agency is created, or your responsibilities that you have. Does everybody understand that? That's the basic, basic, basic stuff. Perfect. Client, the person you work for or on behalf of, that's the person who hires you. Be it the buyer or be it the seller. The customer is everybody else. Does everybody understand the difference between a client and a customer? Because if you don't understand it now, when I start talking about it more later, everyone's going to get confused. Everybody understand the difference? Mm -hmm. Client is the person who hires you. The customer is everybody else you deal with on behalf of your client. If you're representing the buyer, it would be a buyer client. If you're representing the seller, it would be your seller client. What do you owe a customer? Somebody walks into one of your listings or you're representing the buyer and the seller at that point is your customer. What do you owe a customer? Honesty. Fair and honest dealings. That's literally what you owe them. You owe them factual information. What is factual information? Information you know about the property. In what type of information that you know about the property? If, if I know the property is reducing in value next year, would that be something I have to disclose to a, to a customer? No. Okay. So what type of information do you have to disclose to a customer? Information relevant at the time. Information relevant at the time. Defects in the property. Um, if the roof's leaking, do you have to disclose that? Yes. yes. What if your client tells you not to disclose that? No. No. You always have to disclose material facts, including latent defects, if you're representing the seller. Now, if I'm representing the buyer, what do I have to disclose to the seller? If my buyer cannot get a mortgage, would I have to disclose that to the seller? No. Absolutely. It's fair and honest dealings. If I don't, if my, if I know my buyer now, if I know my buyer just went through bankruptcy, I don't disclose that. If I know my buyer cannot obtain a mortgage and told me, hey, I can't get a mortgage, that absolutely affects the transaction. That's fair and honest dealings. And that's where one of those lines are where what do you say and what don't you say to somebody? And we'll talk to more about later. And you have no fiduciary responsibility to them. <coughs> you have nothing besides fair and honest dealings. What do you owe a client? 